All right, so uh, my name is Samad Lotia. I've been here at Gladstone for almost, for more than a year now. Um, so before I talk, my if you look on your schedule, uh, my talk is called the Statuscape App Store. So before I even talk about the App Store, I wanna talk about something that most people in this audience, you guys have in your pockets right now. A smartphone, right? So when you first buy a smartphone, it has certain capabilities already in when you first buy it. You can uh, send texts, you can make phone calls, it has a web browser, you know, certain basic capabilities. But you can augment your capabilities of your phone with apps. So Angry Birds does not is probably one of the most well-known uh, mobile apps or in general. And uh, when you get your phone, you don't get Angry Birds on your phone. You have to go and download it first. So apps are extend the capability of your mobile phone, right? In Cytoscape, we have a similar idea as well. When you first download Cytoscape, it has certain capabilities that are uh, somewhat limited in a sense. And really the st main strength of Cytoscape isn't Cytoscape itself. I, I mean, in my point of view, I think it's actually the apps because we have so many of them and we have such a broad group of people using Cytoscape that they have contributed their own apps. So what we've done is we put together an app store to help you look for apps that you're interested in. So uh, when you first when you first start uh, when you first go to the app store, which is just apps.cytoscape.org, or you could just Google search Cytoscape App Store, uh, this is the page that comes up. So uh, there's one little caveat with the name App Store. There's nothing being bought or sold. Everything is free. But the reason why we call it the App Store is because that's an idiom that is most prevalent uh, with when dealing with uh, exchanging apps. All right, so um, let's say you come to this app store and you just want to ex explore what an app is, but you just don't know where to start. So when you first load the app page, the first thing that you see is this featured section. And so you can just click on app button and uh, it will load an app page. And then you can just download it and start using it. Now, uh, let's say, okay, you've sort of played with apps a little bit, and now you have a specific uh, need. Like, let's say you want to do ontology analysis. Well, we have a specific category for ontology analysis. So you just click on that. And this will pull up all the different apps that have ontology analysis related to it. So, <clears throat> An app can belong to multiple categories. So some apps do multiple things, not just ontology analysis. So if I, if I were to go to Bingo, it doesn't just do ontology analysis, it also does Go annotation and enrichment analysis. So categories are a way where you have some vague idea of what you wanna do inside Escape, but you, you don't know what apps are out there, right? And so with categories, you can just choose something. Um, we also provide the search field. And this search field, of course, you can search for app names. Like um, if I'm interested in uh, this app name, uh, let's say uh, Bingo. If I search for it, it'll show up on my search results. Okay, fine, that's great. Now let's say at this conference, someone here heard um, Scooter, Scooter Morris made an app, and I wanna see what apps that he has. I can search here for Scooter, and lo and behold, he's actually an author for apps. So if I click on his name, I get a list of apps that he made. So Scooter is quite a prolific person because he's made all these apps, obviously. So uh, when you do searches, it's not just by name, it's also by description and by who made them. I can also search uh, even more broadly. Like let's say I wanna look for apps that were made in San Francisco. So if I search for that, I get a list of everyone who's made an app for San in, in some institute at, in San Francisco. Uh, so you can search, you can uh, browse um, and uh, with categories. 
Uh, and if you have a specific name, you can search for them, obviously. Um, one thing that we do, uh, so if you notice here at the top, you'll see that we have these 3.0 uh, flags. So we're about to release Cytoscape 3.0. And so these apps are, have made versions available for 3.0. So uh, what's interesting about 3.0, so I actually have Cytoscape 3.0 running right here. So this is Cytoscape 3.0 running on my computer right now. So while Cytoscape is 3.0, is while Cytoscape is running, uh, I can I can actually install apps directly from from the website. So if I just click install, it will start installing it. And then if I were to wait maybe a couple seconds, it will actually be finished. So this is probably yeah, there we go. So here when I go back to Cytoscape, I will actually see Gmania ready for me to go. So for Cytoscape 3.0, we've definitely tried to make app installation much easier. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is too technical, but how are you actually doing that install? Are you uh, connecting to a local port from JavaScript? Exactly. Okay. And also, what happens if it's not already running? If, if I'm not running Cytoscape 3.0, let me just quit it. Uh, it'll just say, it'll just do this, download. Yeah. It's already installed. It will just gray out the install button. Yeah. So it, it makes a green and says install. There's a check mark. Yeah. yeah. So if I were to rerun Cytoscape. Is running at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. So uh, one thing that we, uh, so when you, let's say you're browsing apps, um, this more pertains to 3.0 apps, which we hope, and we actually see a lot of development going on. But, uh, you know, one thing that you want to look at when, we, when you're trying to judge whether to install an app or not is, is it being actively maintained by the author? And is it actually being used by Cytoscape users? So if I want to see if the user, if the author is maintaining it, I can click on this release history button. And it will tell me what, what releases have been made and how long ago they were done, right? So if I have releases that are pretty regular, you know, every couple months, then I know that the app author is very active <coughs> in developing this. But if I see that the release was two years ago, I know the op, app author does not, uh, is not involved with it, right? <coughs> Now, I can also see how frequently things are downloaded. So if I click this download button, it will pull up a page, and it tells me how, how much is being downloaded. It also tells me who across a geographical distribution internationally is downloading it, because Cytoscape has a very large international community that extends beyond North America. And so this. So I can tell, oh yeah, you know, Gene Mania, wow, there's a lot of downloads in Germany. That's, that's interesting. Or there's a lot of downloads in China, right? So uh, with this download stats page, it lets you see, you know, who's downloading, you know, where is it being downloaded, and how frequently. Nothing happens. Yeah, you don't get anything. That's it. So hopefully this should encourage, if anyone, if anyone out here is a 3.0 or a potential 3.0 developer, this should encourage you to port your apps to 3.0 because you get this. And this would be a huge boon for your, you know, for your app. So is the CSV of that plot or is it? This is, this is more, the CSV is more detailed, yeah. It's great, it's great. It has an entry for every download, and it's the, when it was downloaded and what version was downloaded. <clears throat> so that's great for grants or papers to show that, yeah, your app is being downloaded. Yeah.
We've got that. Uh, click on all apps and you can then sort. Yeah. What is the all of apps? All apps you can sort by downloads or votes. Yeah. So if you if I were to go into a category, I can I can sort by downloads and votes. For categories are all apps. Um, uh, we don't do this for 2.x apps because we don't have the download numbers. <clears throat> uh, so these two pages down here, we've affectionately deemed them the PI pages. So they're for good for presentations. So uh, if I were to click on the wall of apps, I get this, you know, just a huge wall of icons basically. And it's grouped by um, their different uh, categories. Yeah. So PI is not pages. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Amon. Yeah. Rin?